Hello, welcome to a live watercolor tutorial. Today we will be painting the death cap mushroom. If you're watching live, feel free to say hi in the chat box and let us know if you are doing the fall fungi challenge. I'd love to know. Um, this mushroom is part of the fall fungi challenge. So if you'd like to learn more about that challenge, I shared a link in the description below um, for you if you'd like to see what it's all about. It looks like Patty is here. Good morning, Patty and Liz. Good morning. Hi, Allison. It's nice to see you here. Um, so yeah, let us know in the chat box if you're here. Feel free to say hi. Um, and I will quickly go over the supplies I'm using for this mushroom. So, um, first, I do have an outline for you that you can download and transfer onto your watercolor paper, and that is found below in the description. And um, for reference photos, I'm just getting on Google, and I am using various photos of this mushroom to work off of. Um, and yeah, I think now, yeah, I, I will go over my supplies. <laughs> um, so the paints I'm using, I have Titanium White from Daniel Smith. I have Paints Gray from Daniel Smith. I have Neutral Tint. This one is from Da Vinci. Burt Umber from Daniel Smith. Serpentine Green from Daniel Smith. And then I have yellow ochre from Windsor & Newton. So basically for this mushroom, white will come in handy. You don't really need it, but I, I plan on using that. You'll need some kind of gray. So either like neutral tint, pan's gray, or some other kind of gray. Um, some kind of brown. And you'll want some kind of green or, or like a, a um, yellow color. So if you look at photos of this mushroom you'll see that the cap and maybe even it looks like parts of the stem have kind of like a greenish yellow hue to it so that's kind of why I will be using these two colors here all right hi Kai Arts how are you doing I'm doing great I'm glad it's Friday um hi Annette and Sarah and when? Hi. All right, guys. Um, who here is doing the fall fungi challenge? Let me know. And how is it going for you? <laughs> okay, so. Oh, I forgot to share with you my, my paper here. So this is the Etcher sketchbook. And um, this is cold pressed paper. And then my brushes. I forgot to share my brushes. Oh, my gosh. Um <laughs> I'm using round brushes. These are my silver black velvet ones. I have a size eight, four, and two. And all of the supplies I am using are linked below for you in the description as well. All right, let's get started, shall we? Um, hi, Fallon. Hi, hi, Face, Face Navi. All right, so um, for the first layer, we want it to be light. And I'm, I'm going to start with the cap. I'm going to mix like a brassy yellow green, and then we'll paint in the stem the first layer. So we have to mix a color. I'm going to take my mushroom palette here and mix a color. So for the yellow green brassy color. I will be mixing white. So I'm taking some white here with some water. Hi, Rachel. Good morning. Kai Arts says they're stressed. Oh, I'm sorry. That's no fun. I hope that soon you won't be stressed anymore. Okay, and then I'm going to take some yellow ochre, mix that in. Now we, we want to be careful to 
mix this color as light as possible for the first layer. Okay, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix just a tiny little bit of this serpentine green from Daniel Smith in it. Okay. Might mix a little bit more in here. A little bit more of this yellow ochre. All right. So this is kind of the color I'm going for. Hi, Jan. I'm excited you're here. Hi, Fa Fabricas from B Brazil, from Brazil. How cool. Okay. I am, t so this is my size eight brush, okay? Um, and I'm gonna get my size four brush ready by adding just a little bit of water to it just so in case I want to use that to like spread around my, my paint because I just mix this color with this brush and it has a ton of paint in it. So sometimes I like to use two brushes. Okay, so I'm going to start at the top of the cap. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna switch to my size four brush with just a tiny bit of water in it. And I'm gonna kind of blend this color towards the bottom of that cap so that it's lighter. Because when I look at some photos, it looks like the bottom of the cap is a little lighter than the top part. This will also just give it some dimension. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and take some more of this color and then drop it in at the top and just kind of let it blend downwards like a fuzz in my paint. <laughs> okay, and that's the first layer for the cap. Hi, Cedric. Good morning. Oh no, Kai Art says, so stressed of reviewing for med board exam. I do not miss exams. I'm so glad I'm not in school anymore. <laughs> I do not miss them. Okay, so I'm cleaning my brushes now and we'll move on to let's let's go ahead and move on to the cup so this is the cup of the mushroom I, the reason why i'm moving down here is because this is wet and if i start the stem or like the gills i i'm afraid that my paint that this paint will start seeping into the cap and it'll just be a mess so i'm gonna go ahead and move down here and if you look at photos of this mushroom, the death cap, on Google, the cup part has a lot of dirt on it. Like, it, it's like dirty. Um, and then, but if it's clean, it looks like it's white or like a gray. So I am thinking I'll paint some areas gray and then add some dirt a little bit, at least a light brown in some areas. All right, here we go. So let's go ahead and mix a gray. I think I'll start out with this neutral tint. And I'm gonna take my size four brush. To mix grays, I like to use white in them to make them lighter. So I'm gonna take some white now. And 
and it's going to start pretty light for this first layer. So it's, it's better to mix a lighter gray than a darker gray. Um, yeah, I think this is probably what I'm going for. I guess I should move my palette down here so you can see it. Hi, Max, Max Ren. Um, they say, this is my first time joining this online. Please teach me and guide us. I, I will do my best. <laughs> I hope that you find this tutorial fun and helpful. Um, okay, I'm gonna start with this gray here. Um, where the cap here is kind of behind the stem. So I'm just kind of applying some of this paint. And then I'm gonna go in with my size eight round brush, which is water. I'm going to blend this this way. So I'm trying to create a gradient here. And I want this part to be a little darker, so I'm gonna add a little bit more of this gray, and then a little bit more down here. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Then, again, I'm switching to my brush that just has some water in it. It doesn't have too much, just a tiny little bit. I'm blending that. And I'm going to drop in a little bit more of this gray. Okay. Hi, blue side. Good morning. Have any of you guys painted this mushroom before? Chatra, hi. I, I know that you, Chatra, you just posted your death cap on Instagram. I, I saw it right before I, I was going live. <laughs> it looks really nice. Okay, now I'm going to add this gray to some of these indents. So in the outline that I provide you, I, I have some lines here. So these are like folds. So I'm gonna kind of paint that in a little bit and then go in with my brush that just has water my blending brush and kind of just blend this down like that and I'll do the same thing right here switch blend and I might paint in the outer edge of this too and then the other line blend okay All right, Allison says that she painted this last week and she says, I struggled. Hopefully I'll do better on this one. Oh yeah, I, I hope you do. Sometimes if, if you try something two times, the second time it always comes out better. Okay, now I'm adding this gray to the edge of the cup. And then I'm kind of just blending this downwards with my blending brush, my brush that just has water. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more. A lot of this area I plan on painting 
dirt, so I'm not too like worried about making the shading perfect. So I add paint, then I go in with my blending brush and blend. Have any of you guys ever seen this mushroom in person? I don't think I have. <laughs> I don't even know if they're where I live. I feel like I, I don't know. I feel like I, I would be kind of scared to be by one. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't touch it. Okay, there's a line here that I'm gonna kind of fade. And then I think I might add some like texture like that and then kind of dab my blending brush at that at what I just painted and just let it kind of blend a little bit. Okay. I think that's good for like the first layer on the cup. I am going to move on. Rachel says, I fell off track with the challenge. Food poisoning took the wind out of my cells for, for a bit. Oh no, Rachel. I'm so sorry that happened to you. That sucks. Kai Art says, I'm back, got disconnected. <laughs> okay. Um, Max Stern says, asking, when was your first time painting? Oh, I guess I would have to say my very first time would be when I was like a little girl. I got some like craft paints, but I didn't get serious about painting until college. College was, was when I learned oil painting and then I didn't paint with watercolor until like almost three years ago. Okay, so let's move on to the stem. So if you look at photos of this mushroom, the stem, um, it looks like it's pretty white, but it does have kind of um, like a hint of the same color that's in the cap, but maybe not as much. So, hmm, I'm trying to think what I want to do. So I think I will go ahead and use this color that we used for the cap, but maybe I'll mix a little bit more white, white into it to make it a little lighter. Okay, maybe that was too much. <laughs> I'm going to take some of this yellow ochre, just a tiny little bit. Okay, it's probably good for now, considering this is just the first layer. All right, I think I'm gonna start. Okay, let me see. I'm looking at some more photos. Okay, I think I'm going to add some of this down here. This is hard sometimes <laughs> to figure out what, what is best. Okay. So I'm going to add some here. And then I'm going to switch to my size 8 brush. It just has water. And I'm blending this now. Blending it down. Trying to go in the seam direction as the, um, sometimes I call this a skirt. There's another word for it. I forget. 
And yeah, so I'm just kind of adding this in some areas, not everywhere, and then blending it slightly. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and add this to parts of the stem down here too. Okay. I think that's pretty good to start out with. So I'm basically trying to have the center part right here a little lighter than the sides. So I'm gonna kind of wipe some of this away. Okay. Um, I think I might add some gray now. So I'm cleaning my brush. Um, hi Sydney, good morning. Kai Art says, where did you get the palette? Um, I got it from a local art fair, like a local artist. She um, had some of these palettes that she made along with her artwork. Jan says, what brand of brushes and paints? So these are my silver black velvet brushes. And the paints, so I, I did link all of the all of the supplies I'm using in the description, but I'll quickly go over my paints real quick. So this is Daniel Smith Titanium White, Da Vinci Neutral Tint, Windsor Newton, Yellow Ochre. <laughs> Lots of different brands here. <laughs> I have Burt Umber from Daniel Smith, Paints Gray, Daniel Smith, and Serpentine Green. Daniel Smith. Okay. Oh yeah, Rachel, that, that is the other word for it. Skirt. Skirt and also ring. Ring. That that's what I was trying to think of. Okay. Anyways, I I'm gonna take some of that gray that I mixed earlier. And I think I'm first gonna kind of add some of this on the sides. And then take my brush that just has water and blend. And I'll do the same thing on this side. All right. Let's see. I'm gonna take this gray again and I'm gonna um, start painting in the skirt or ring right here. So first, I'm gonna start on this side. Kind of just outline it slightly and then Yeah, okay, like that. Take my brush that just has water. And I'm kind of blending this gray a little bit. Um, I'm gonna add some more right here. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I like that. I think I'm gonna kind of wipe some of this away. I kind of messed up. That's fine. I'll I'll fix this when it dries. Gonna add some more kind of outline the skirt.
like so. I'm gonna blend this down a little bit to create a shadow. And then in here, Okay, I'm gonna take more gray and I'm now going to add some like underneath the cap more. Switching to my blending brush, blending downwards. Cindy says, I'm excited to get back to painting. I've been so focused on school. I can finally wind down for the weekend. Hopefully catch up on a few mushrooms from the challenge. Yay. I'm glad that you're getting back into painting. Rachel says, or apparently also veal or partial veal. Who knew? Wow. So many names for this area. Veal, skirt, ring. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to kind of paint in this line here. It's not really time to add detail yet, but sometimes I just can't help it. So I am adding some, some lines here. So I add some lines and I blend up. Okay, I think I'm gonna kind of fix this a little bit. I don't know why I'm having trouble with that area. Okay. All right, there's the first layer for that. Now let's paint the first layer for the gills. So usually the first layer for the gills is just the color of the highlights that you see in the gills. So let's see, let me look at some pictures. Um, basically very, very light. <laughs> um, so I think I'm gonna use this color but add some more white to it. Max Stern says, is the day Thursday or Friday there? Because the time in Malaysia is different. It is Friday here in um, Indiana, USA. What about you? Thank you, Jan. She says, it's looking great. Okay, so now, yeah, I'm just going to paint this whole gill area with this light color here with my size eight brush. Okay, and then I'm gonna switch to my size four brush with just some water in it and I'm gonna kind of blend this paint more and fill in the rest of the areas. All right, so basically this is the whole first layer Yay. Okay. Hi, hi Sadaf. They say, hi Allison, I'm from India and it's 8 p.m. here. Wow, you're like 10 hours ahead of me, I think. Max Stern says, I can't hold my patience when it comes to painting. I recently draw an anime character. I paint, I painted the face and the hair, but I don't wait for it to dry. Oh yeah. Wait, waiting for your paint to dry when it comes to watercolor is very important. <laughs> um, okay. So we are ready for the second layer. 
The cap is dry, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and paint the second layer for the cap. And I'm just kind of looking at some more pictures here of this mushroom, trying to fit, figure out the colors I wanna mix. For the colors, I might mix two different colors. Okay, so the first one will be more of like a yellow color and then the other one will be more of like a, a um, green, green yellow. So I'm gonna take my size four brush, grab some yellow ochre. I'm just gonna put it here where I had that lighter version. And colors for this mushroom vary. It's like some, like the, the yellow brassy color that we see is very light and other mushrooms, it's kind of vibrant. Okay, I did add a little bit of green to it. Okay. Next, I will take yellow ochre again. I'll add it right here. And then I'm going to take this serpentine green from Daniel Smith and add that to it. Okay. It's a little too green. I'm going to add some more of this yellow ochre. All right. Um, and then I think I'm going to make another, another color. <laughs> so I'm going to take the same color here and my brush, put it here and then add some more green, some more yellow ochre. Then I'm going to add some brown to it. This is Burt Umber from Daniel Smith. Um, a little bit more green. So I'm trying to make like a shadow color here. Dark brownish, yellowish green. <laughs> if that even makes sense. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm going for. Um, Max Ren says for the first layer, so you have to put much water and less paint. How about second layer? Yes, with, with the first layer, it's usually a lot of water and less paint. And then the second layer, like the, the second layer, you usually have less water and more paint because you want your first layer to be very light. Okay. Um, I think I will start with this lighter yellow that I mixed. So actually I'm going to grab some with my size four brush and I'm just going to start adding this in some areas. So I think I'll add some here and then I'm switching to my size eight round brush that just has water and I'm kind of blending this. Okay. And I think I'll, I'll add some here and then again, switch to my brush that just has water and blend. And I kind of want this area here in the middle to be a little lighter. I want there to be a highlight. So I'm going to try not to add too much paint in the middle. Okay. And then again, blending. All right. 
And I think now I will go ahead and grab some of this. Uh, here, this is like the lighter version of this. So it's, again, it's like yellow ochre mixed with serpentine green mixed with some white. And I'll start to add this on the outsides. Okay, and then when we blend, we don't have to make it super perfect because the mushroom caps, um, they're not perfectly smooth if you look at them. There's a lot of texture. Okay, I kind of added some paint over here. I didn't mean to do. Hi, John Lee. It's okay, you're late. I'm glad you're here. All right. Um, and I'm gonna add some down here. Take my blending brush. Now I'm just kind of dabbing at this. Try not to blend perfectly. I want there to be texture. Okay. Oh, I kind of grabbed that darker one, but it's fine. I'll drop some in here. Okay. Um, add some here. Okay. Now I will go ahead and take this darker version. And I'm gonna add some at the very top. And kind of all the way around. And then dab at it with my blending brush. May add a little bit more here and there, add some texture. Um, add some on the edge of the cap. Now the edge of the cap doesn't have to be a perfect line either. To make it more realistic, you, you can make the line like, like this, kind of imperfect, a little jaggy. Okay, and I think that's pretty good for the first layer. I, I mean the second layer. <laughs> so we'll let that dry and we'll move on. Grace Arts and Entertainment says, Hello friends, I'm from India. Here it's Friday night, 8 o'clock. Happy to attend this tutorial. Well, I'm happy you're here. Welcome. Jan says, Watching you blend, it's very helpful for me. It's also kind of magical, aww. Well, I'm, I'm glad it's helpful. Okay. Let's see. 
We won't do the gills yet because this is all wet and it's right next to the gills, so we don't want any weird texture and bleeding going on. So let's move down to the cup. Let's go back to the cup down here. And I think this time I will add some of that goldish color um, to the cup and some dirt. So let me move my palette so you guys can see my paint. Okay. John Lee says it's eight o'clock at night where I am. Oh, nice. Are you, um, are you from India too? Or, um, in that part of the world? Max Ren says, what day will you always be live? Um, I usually go live on Fridays. I won't be live, um, next Friday though, because I'm going on vacation. Okay, so I'm gonna take this yellow ochre color here. And I'm just gonna kind of dab it, dab it around on the cup. And then take my size eight round brush and then dab at that. This brush just has water in it. So I'm just kind of blending this a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more over here. And again, doing the same thing. And I think I'll add some over here too, down here. Is this anyone's first mushroom that you've painted? Or have you painted mushrooms before? Painting mushrooms is so fun. <laughs> okay, I think I might add some of this like in these folds. And blend. And then I'm gonna add some in the shadows over here behind the stem and then blend. Okay, um, and then I'm going to add a little bit on the stem to create a shadow and then switch to my blending brush and blend up. I'm gonna take that darker yellow, green, brown color <laughs> and add some down here now. Just kind of imperfectly add texture and stuff. Dab at it with my brush that just has water. A lot of this I will add dirt. So we're just kind of building up the layers, building up the colors and um, values and detail. Add some over here and over here. And 
Okay. Sarah says, this will be my first mushroom. Wow. This mushroom is pretty cool. I mean, you, you have like a cup, you have a skirt or a ring, <laughs> and the, the color is pretty cool too. John Lee says, this is my first mushroom. Uh, Taylor, hi Taylor. Uh, Max Stern says, I've never painted a mushroom before. I love to paint, but my drawing skills are kind of sloppy. It sucks, but colors can recover it. <laughs> it's okay. You'll, you'll get there. Gina says, my first, I'm just watching. Will I be able to access this later? Yes. Yeah, see, you guys can access the replay at any time on my channel. Okay. I'm cleaning my brushes. And, okay, I'm trying to think what we should do next. I think I'm going to mix a gray and add some shadow over here. So let's go ahead and mix the gray. I'm going to take neutral tint. Add it over here. And I don't want it that dark. We don't want it too dark. I'm gonna take some white, add that to it to kind of make it a little lighter. And I kind of want to add a color to the shadow or the, the gray. So I think I will add some yellow ochre to it. Okay, so it's kind of like a warm gray. Cindy says, I found a really cool book. It's called National Aud Audubon Society Field Guide to Mushrooms. It has so many pictured information about mushrooms. That is so cool, Cindy. Oh my gosh. I, I do have one mushroom book. Um, but it, it doesn't have very many pictures. <laughs> I, I love books like that, like nature books like that. I have um, some moth ones and butterfly ones, and, and I, I have some bird ones. They're really cool. I bet you find that book really inspiring when painting mushrooms. Okay. So, yeah, I'm kind of adding this dark gray over here to add more shadow and depth. And then I'm kind of taking my blending brush and dabbing at this and blending it upwards. But we, we don't want it to be too smooth. We want there to be some texture. So I'm not trying to blend smoothly or anything. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this gray again. And I think I'm going to add some to the sides and blend. This will just help our mushroom have more depth and help it pop off the page. And, okay, I'm going to kind of work on this skirt a little bit more. I don't know why I'm having trouble with this area. <laughs> Let's see. I think I'll first kind of paint underneath. Okay, let me look at my outline again. So this is the outline. This area was bothering me. Okay. I'm gonna kind of paint it again.
Okay. And do a little bit of blending here. All right. So I'm trying to create a shadow underneath the skirt. Okay, and then under here. And then on the sides a little bit. All right. And then I'm going to add this dark gray right underneath the cap. And then take again my blending brush like I have been doing and blending down. Okay. And then I'm going to kind of paint in these lines, like the folds in the skirt a little bit more. Take my blending brush and blend up. All right. And I'm going to add some more folds. Actually, I don't really like that. I'm gonna kind of wipe this away. <laughs> if you don't like something, just kind of take a clean brush with, with some water and kind of wipe away. All right. Ooh, um, Jan says, tell me about white. I know some watercolor artists don't use it. Yeah, it's, it's a personal preference. Um, I like to use white because I can mix it into any color and make like a pastel version. Um, but if, if something on my painting is white though, I try my best to have that be the white on my paper. This, I, I just like to use to make lighter versions of colors um, or like pastel versions of colors. I hope that makes sense. There, there are some colors that I, um, that I just add water to, to make light though. So if I, I, I do that, if I don't want a pastel version. Okay. I'm getting a package. So I'm kind of trying to see if I have to sign for it. <laughs> okay. I think I do. Okay, guys, I'll be back in like 30 seconds. I'm back. Okay. Oh, I was running. Um, so what was I doing? Okay. So let's go ahead and I guess we should start on the gills. What do you guys think? This might be 
kind of one of the most challenging parts of this painting. <sighs> okay, I'm out of breath. <laughs> so for the gills, we want to mix a light color. L let me kind of see what color we should mix. Maybe like a light gray. Um, oh, thank you, Jan. I'm glad you, you like it so far. Chatra says, I love how this skirt is turning out. Thank you. Okay, so for the gray, again, as, as I was saying about white watercolor paint, I like to use white a lot when mixing grays. So I'm gonna take white, add it to this gray well on my palette. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of neutral tint. And we don't want our gray to be too dark. Um, when painting gills, I've learned that it's best to start painting them with like a light color to not go too dark. And I kind of drew some already in the outline, but I didn't draw all of them, just a few to help me kind of um, see the direction to paint them. <laughs> okay, John Lee says, for me, this is kind of looking like a jellyfish. It, it does kind of resemble a jellyfish, doesn't it? That's funny. All right. Um, Rachel says, adding white adds a level of opacity that, that isn't there with traditional transparent watercolor. I try not to use it too much, but it is helpful in some situations. Yes, that is true. White does um, add, add like more or make, make your paints a little bit more opaque and not as transparent. All right, so I'm going to start... Let's see, I think I'm going to start over here. So I'm, I'm going to try and paint as thinly as I can. Okay, then I'm going to take my size eight round brush and I'm going to kind of blend this a little bit more. This is nerve wracking. <laughs> I'm gonna paint one right here. Jan, I, yeah, it just depends on the artist. Some, some don't use white, some do. I, I use white pretty often. I think it is a good color to have, no matter how much you use it. Yeah, take, take your time during this the gills, um, try not to rush. And you, you don't have to paint every gill that you see in like a reference photo. You, you can just kind of make it a little bit more simple. I think I'm gonna paint one like right here. Okay. And I like to have the gills kind of fade a little bit. I don't like to just have them be a line from like start to finish.
Oh, Max Stern has to go. I'm glad that you can hang out with us. Thank you. Have a great evening. Okay. There's a little one down here. Thank you, Sarah. She says the mushroom is looking amazing. How How is your mushroom looking? Yeah, guys, let us know in the chat box. How is your death cap looking? So we will paint another layer on the gills to add some more um, shadow and dimension to them. So for the first layer, I just kind of want to paint them in lightly. Okay, I think that's pretty good for now. Lindsay, hi Lindsay. She says, hello, just joining in, looks great. And she says, I haven't finished my oyster mushroom yet. That's okay. Don't worry, I'm behind on this challenge too. There's probably like, I think three or four mushrooms I haven't painted. <laughs> Okay, guys, we are about halfway through this tutorial. Okay. I lost connection there for a second, but it, we are doing the artist spotlight now in this tutorial. So every time I go live, I spotlight an artist. Um, and it's someone who uses my hashtag Alice in Lane Art Tutorial. And... Yeah, so we'll, we'll return to this mushroom tutorial in one minute. Let me find the artist on Instagram who I'm spotlighting. It might be one of you guys. You ready? So let, let me see here who it is. It is Rachel. So let me find her Instagram. Here, just give me a second. <laughs> there we go. Rachel. Rachel Donner. So this is Rachel. I linked her Instagram in the description below. And she's doing the Fungi Challenge. There's her jack-o'-lantern and her moral. How cool. And then she did my pumpkin mushroom. My pumpkin mushroom. Oh my gosh, my pumpkin tutorial <laughs> from um, two weeks ago. Isn't that cool? So yeah, there you go. Beautiful work, Rachel. Beautiful work. All right, let's get back to this tutorial, shall we? Okay, oops, let me hook up my camera. There we go. Okay. Oh, all right. So now we need to add more detail and depth to this mushroom. So I'm looking at more photos of it on Google, trying to see like the detail that I need to add. I do need to add some dirt on the cup down here. Oh, you're welcome, Rachel. Yeah, I'm so excited to feature you. 
Uh, Church says, I'm late. Your shroom is looking great. Thank you. Okay. So I think I want to add some more, maybe a little bit of green because it looks like this mushroom could have a touch of green in it. And yeah, so let's do that. So I'm going to take some serpentine green here and I'm going to mix a little bit of this yellow ochre into it. Hey guys, I feel like I got disconnected there. Can you, can you see me? I'm so sorry. This is the thing. This is one of the drawbacks of doing live streams. Um, I, I don't know how much she missed. So I mixed a green yellow color with serpentine green and yellow ochre. Now I'm just kind of adding this to some parts of this mushroom. like in the shadows, and then over here. Oh good, I think you guys can hear me and see me, good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Lindsay. Oh, sometimes it's stressful. Okay, Go going live can be stressful sometimes. All right, I'm kind of dabbing this. I want texture. Adding some more in the shadows. And then I'm gonna add some on the stem here. And blend. Now, I feel like my stem is, um, It's a little too smooth. I, I kind of want to add some more texture here. So I'm just going to kind of do this and then dab with my blending brush. Patty says, whenever there's a glitch in the internet connection, it gives me time to look at my mushroom and enjoy the way it's looking. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad. Good. I'm, I'm glad there's a, a good thing with me losing connection. <laughs> okay. All right. Kind of like that. I'm going to add some of the shadows here. Here we go. Um, I need to mix more of this. I never mix enough of colors, I feel like. Church says, I love the green um, added. Oh, yeah, I do too. I, I really do. I'm gonna add some in the shadow up here. Blend. Again, I'm trying not to blend too smoothly. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, but if, if I use gray and shadows, I like to add some color to it. Cause I, I feel like it just, it looks better especially with, with mushrooms, like adding some blues or like greens in the sh shadows, especially green, because with mushrooms, they they could be reflecting or, or like grass could be reflecting off of them and it just makes them look more real. We're kind of like in the fun part of painting right now, adding detail and color. 
See, I'm just kind of adding this wherever I feel like I want to add it. <laughs> kind of like in the shadows. Okay. Allison says, oh, beautiful work, Rachel. Yeah, her, her work is beautiful, isn't it? By the way, I do have other mushroom tutorials that you guys might like on my YouTube channel. Just search Alice Elaine Art Mushrooms and you should find them or um, go, go to my actual channel and then there's like a search bar or like search icon and you can like search my channel. And I, I do have a mini class for the Fungi Challenge if um, you haven't, if you didn't know That is only available for like two more weeks. And I, I did link it in the description of this video. Okay. I think I'm gonna now add a little bit more yellow ochre to this. And yeah, just kind of deepen these shadows. And more texture. Okay. And yeah, I'm gonna add some here. This is like the part in the painting that I can easily get carried away or, or like kind of lost like get lost in in painting because it is just so fun to like add all these colors and textures to it I'm gonna add some more here and there texture Um, oh, John and Lee has to go. Bye. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um, Liz says, this is so much fun. I'm getting more into painting fungi. Where I live, there are not many to see in the wild. Yeah, fungi is just so fun. And there's so many, so many different types. Right. I'm going to add some of this to the cup. And then add my blending brush. Okay. Now I am going to, okay, first I need to mix more of this. I never mix enough. Yellow ochre and then serpentine green. Now I'm going to add some of this to the gills. More so over here. Then over here. Okay. 
Oh, John Lee is back. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Trish says, can't wait to paint this guy when I get home. Yay, I'm glad you're excited. Yeah, I'm really liking how this is turning out. All right, um, let's go ahead and add dirt to the cup. So I'm gonna take Burnt Umber from Daniel Smith here. So I'm just kind of grabbing this, adding it to my palette. I'm going to start with this and then I will go in and mix a darker version. And I'm only adding enough water to make it easy to apply. So not too much water. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of dab this here and there. Take my brush that just has water, my blending brush, dab, dab at the brown. Again, this is my blending brush now. Okay. I'm gonna add some more, more to the sides. Okay. So this is still wet down here. I'm just gonna kind of drop in a little bit more while it's still wet. And then on the very edge. All right, now I'm going to mix a darker brown. Liz says, there is lichens that grow on the sandstone canyon walls. I've tried to re represent it in some way in my paintings without much success. Aww. Um, and she says, when I searched this mushroom on Google earlier, I was saddened by the Fatality is the people who eat it. I know. Isn't that sad? Like, like, like children and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so I'm adding some neutral tint to this brown. This will make it darker. And I'm, I'm not adding a lot of water. Only enough to make this easy to apply. So, barely any water. Now I'm gonna add this to some areas, but I probably won't add as much as I did with the brown. And then take my blending brush, just dab at that. Okay, we're getting there. We're almost done. All 
Okay. And now I'm just gonna add some little tiny specks. And you can also add some like dirt that is kind of hanging off on the on the cup down here. Okay. Next, I I want to push the shadows a little bit in my mushroom because I really, I just feel like down here, it's like very dark. So I feel like I, I need to balance it more. Um, so I'm gonna take this dark brown I, I mixed, actually first, no, no I'm not, I changed my mind. I'm gonna mix a color in it. So I'm going to grab some serpentine green, mix that in. And I'm going to mix in a little bit of yellow ochre. All right. So now I'm gonna add this to some of the shadows and like push the shadows a little bit more. Like over here. This is my blending brush now. Just kind of blending this a little bit. And then over here. And then I'm gonna add some over here around. Okay. Thank you, Johnny. They say I love it. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some to the sides. And under the skirt. Okay. I'm gonna add some like little specks. make it look a little bit more realistic. We're moving up. I'm going to add some right underneath the cap and then more towards the side. I like to add shadows kind of slanted like that sometimes. Okay, I feel like the gills need a lot of work. I'm gonna add some shadow to the gills. First, I'm trying to see what I wanna do. I think I'll add some right underneath the cap here, and then back there a little bit. Okay, and I'm taking my brush, my blending brush, blending this. Gills do need some more work, so we'll we'll work on them more here soon. Okay. 
All right. And then, hmm, I think I'll add some of this to the edge of the cap. And okay. Now I'm going to add some of this to the top of the cap. Blend. All right, we're almost get, um, getting there. How's it going, guys? Okay, let's work on the gills in the skirt a little bit. Actually, I think I'm gonna add some detail here at the very tip of my brush. Okay, probably won't do much blending. Although I don't really like this right here, so I'm gonna kind of blend this up. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna add some shadow here. And here. Are you guys finding this tutorial helpful? It is kind of um, more of the intermediate advanced so it might be kind of hard for beginners but I hope that no matter what level you are that you're finding it helpful. All right, <laughs> I'm, I'm just kind of looking at my mushroom. I, I know I wanna improve the gills. I'm trying to see what else. I feel like the cup could use a little bit more. So I'm gonna take this color here. Again, this is um, yellow ochre and serpentine green. Okay. Oh, good, Patty. I'm glad you're finding it helpful. This is more of like a serpentine green, but it's fine. I like to add some green here and there to mushrooms. It's not more of like an earthy look, you know? All right. Taking my blending brush, dabbing at that green.
I'm gonna add a little bit more in the shadows and in the dirt. Okay, I think that's good. Maybe I'll add some here in these folds. Okay. Now let's work on those gills. <laughs> and then we should be mostly done. Um, Rachel says, I think it'll be helpful. Wait, I, I think it will be helpful. I can give more specific feedback after I actually do it. Okay. Um, Lindsay says, about to finish my oyster mushroom now. Oh, have fun. That, that one was pretty hard for me, but it was fun. Okay, now for the gills, I think I'm gonna use the same green color. So that this is yellow ochre and serpentine green mixed together, but it, it does have a little bit more of a serpentine green. And I'm gonna use my size two round brush here. And of course, I need to mix more of this, so. <laughs> Serpentine green, yellow ochre. Okay. And I'm going to add this to the gills over here. I'm going to try not to do any blending. Unless I have to. So notice how I'm adding more of this over here, less down here. This is just how I like to paint gills. I just like to have them kind of fade. Okay. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. What do you guys think? <laughs> okay. I think it might be done. Um, let me see here if there's anything else I want to add. I'm just kind of looking at at pictures if if you want to go the extra mile <laughs> you you could add some dirt like on the cap on the stems um you can add like moss around it thank you trish so here's a close-up Yeah, I like it. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, painting with me. Um, if you finish your death cap, feel free to use the hashtag fall fungi challenge 
even if you're not doing the challenge, you, you can still use that hashtag when you post it. And use the hashtag Allison, Allison Line Art Tutorial and tag me Allison Line Art because I would love to see it. And I do have the Fall Fungi mini class available, but it's only available for like two more weeks. So if you wanted to learn more about that, I linked that in the description of this video, as well as my watercolor membership. If you want to um, take your art to the next level and be a part of an amazing watercolor artist community. Um, yeah. So I, I do also have some free mushroom tutorials on my channel here. So you can search Alice in Line Art Mushroom and you should find some other tutorials. Thank you guys. I'm so happy you like it. I really like this. This might be my favorite mushroom I've painted in this challenge so far. Pretty happy with it. Um, yeah, I like this a lot. I'm pretty proud of it. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. There will be a new video coming out on Tuesday where I share my favorite watercolor brushes with you. That'll be a fun one. And I will not be going live next week because I'll be on vacation all next week with my mom. Um, so yeah, I won't be live next week. I'll miss you guys, but... I'll see you later. Bye. Bye, Sierra, Rachel, Allison, Lindsay, Patty, Scrapbooking 100. Oh, that's okay. Um, Shelly, hi, Allison. I, I mean, Shelly, wow, I'm losing it. I'm going live too long. I need to eat something. <laughs> Bye, Chatra, Trish. I should leave before I embarrass myself anymore. Okay. Bye guys, take care.